What's going on everyone? My name is Larry Snow and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to embed a YouTube video in MailChimp. That's coming up next, so stay tuned. So I thought I'd do this video to help those that were asking questions on how to actually embed a YouTube video in a MailChimp email that you're going to be sending out, a campaign. And there are a lot of questions around that in my previous video, uh, which was uh, right above us here somewhere is the link for you to go check that out. It was actually uh, talking about the new landing page creator that MailChimp came up with. So there were a lot of questions there and I, in this video, I'm gonna take a look at how to add a video in the best way possible. It's actually not technically embedding a video in a MailChimp email. It's actually a workaround <laughs> uh, because that's all we have to go with with MailChimp. And there are three ways that I came up with. Maybe you have more than that. And we're going to take a look at those three ways, how I set them up, and what they look like in an email, what they look like in a preview, and what the differences are there because there are some that you really want to know about. So stay to the end of the video where I talk about that. But for now, let's get started on putting in our videos in a MailChimp campaign. So I've already got a test campaign set up. It's one of the featured ones that uh, MailChimp provides for us. And uh, very simple, I've added in my logo. Obviously, you'd be going to town on this uh, putting in calls to action, putting in a whole bunch of stuff to make it more enjoyable for your reader. For us, as a testing uh, type of thing, we are just putting in what we need to do for this video, okay? So, uh, you'll notice here I've got one here that kind of looks like an image but has an overlay of a, it looks like a play button on it. The next option I hear, yeah, the next option I have here it looks like a bunch of uh, gobbledygook, a bunch of code. And then we have an image, what looks like an image, and it actually is an image. Let's start with that option. If I click on this to edit it, and we'll click on the link part, we actually see a link to the video. And so what happens is, what happens is that when you click on that image in your email, uh, it will be, it will take you to the video. Simple, easy enough, we'll take you right over to YouTube. If we put in an alt tag, this is what I like to do, and you'll see why in, uh, at the end of this video, as I promised, you'll see the differences in when we send this out in an email. So we do watch, uh, let's see, click to watch video. All right, update. Save and close. So there's really nothing to that. I, I grabbed over an image block and, and that's it. I uploaded an image, my thumbnail that I use for the YouTube video, and I added in an alt tag and the link to the video. Let's go to the top one. This top one is actually a video block. So here's the video block. I just drag that over. I love the drag and drop of MailChimp. And it gives you some options to put in. Now, this only will work for YouTube and video. Actually, it will auto-generate the thumbnail image of that video, and it'll put that little overlay on it. So that's all there is. And then I added in some caption text here for a call to action. I look down here, it says, click to watch the video and learn how to monitor your company on Facebook. So it gives a, a clear indicator to actually click and to watch. And that's something that you want to be aware of. Now, if I click in here again, and I click on an alt, and it has the actual title in here, how to create landing pages in MailChimp with the new landing page creator. That is the, that is the direct title that I have for the video um, on YouTube. So you can update that if you want, you can replace it, it's up to you. Save and close that. Now the third one, and probably the kind of the more, more fuzzy one that a lot of people aren't familiar with, is something called the video merge tag. And for that, I went over to the knowledge base in MailChimp and looked at add video to a campaign, which they've outlined very nicely to insert video content block, which is what we looked at. 
uh, and then here's the video merge tags. So the basic format is the service and the video ID. Now the service is, in this case, since we're talking about YouTube, is YouTube. So you put YouTube as, and replace service with YouTube. The video ID is this right here. So V equals whatever follows V equals is the video ID. And you would grab that and put that into the code as well. Let's go back to our knowledge base article here. And so you can do this for Vimeo, you can do this for Blip TV, or it looks like it's a little bit more complicated for that. Something called Vizar, I've never even heard of, good for them. And of course Vistia, which is, I'm more familiar with that as well. And here is the video merge tag code that I actually copied and pasted and put into the code. I grabbed the code block over and dropped it in. Uh, I took out what was in here, just deleted that, and I went over to here. I've added this, copied it in like that. And then further down, they talk about video merge tag options, also known as parameters, uh, how you can add in different things. You can re remove the border, remove the title, trim, uh, add in ratings, remove ratings. And then you can grab this piece of code here, which actually puts in some of those options. And that's exactly what I did. And that's what you see here, right? So we have a max width of 600 because the email is 600. We have ratings set to no, views set to no. You can actually put in the views, how many views you've got on YouTube on here. If you wanted to have a border, if you wanted to have the title in there, since I already kind of have the title in there, um, you know, I don't really need the title and I can trim the border. So all of that is in there. It's all set and ready to go. Now let me just remove this one so we don't get confused. So I will leave the link to this knowledge base article in the comments below for you to take a look at and review for yourself for the services that you want to add to your MailChimp campaign. All right, now let's click on preview. I love that they have a preview option. Uh, they have a desktop, mobile, and inbox version where you can actually use the live merge tags for uh, recipients. So on desktop, this is what it's going to look like in the browser. So this is our uh, video block, right? So if I click on that, it'll open up and go right to YouTube. This is our code. This is our merge tag code. And it kind of like, looks like a YouTube video, right? Uh, it's a little smaller. I could probably make it a little bigger and, and the width, max width size and all that. Uh, but it has a better play button in the middle. It actually physically looks like a YouTube video. And here's my alt tag that says watch the video. All right? So I can go in there and, and if I click on that, it'll go right to YouTube as well. Okay? And the last one is just a simple image. And what I did on the image uh, actually, I put it below. It says click on the image above to watch the video. So I had to physically put in a text block to put in a call to action for a person to understand to actually click the image to play the video. All right, so that's what they look like in on the browser. Well, let's, let's see what it looks like in the email. And here's where things will be different. So I'm going to send a test email to me. And we'll just wait a couple of seconds until it shows up in my inbox. All right, here it is in my inbox. And this is what people will see. The reason why people are seeing this is because I haven't verified my domain with my email address. So if I had Larry at LarrySnow.me and I've taken the option to verify my domain through the server, putting in uh, some C names and some other pieces of stuff that you need to do on the server side. I forget what it's called right now, but um, it's something that you have to do to verify with MailChimp that that is the domain that you have. Once you do that, your images by default will be displayed in your emails. Until then, because we are using images, basically, 
uh, wrapped around in code that will, when clicked will take you to YouTube, those images won't show up by default in your email. And this is where your alt tags will come in. So if a person comes across this in their inbox, they're like, well, what the heck am I looking at? There's a whole bunch of gobbledygook here. I don't understand what I'm so, oh, watch the video. So if you had text above this that said, you know, this is the video or well, this is what it's about and we're, we're doing great things and, you know, if you want to take a look at our product, our services, whatever it is you're, you're trying to push or not push, whatever it is you're trying to communicate to your mail list, you put all that above that, obviously, right? So there's more of an emphasis on what's coming next. And so there are two alt tags here that we put in, right? Watch the video, which is the code that we put in, the merge tag code. And the second one was the uh, image, which is click to watch the video. Now, if I click that, pops open YouTube. If I click on this one, it pops open YouTube. I don't even, it doesn't even take me to YouTube. It just pops it open on my screen to watch the video. And here is the video block. Now, because I have a black, kind of blackish brownish background on it, you can hardly see it, but that will do that too. That alt tag, how to create landing page. Now, if I put in, click the video to watch it and change the styles a little bit, you could probably see that too. So, be careful what you're sending in emails. Maybe it's better, with this in mind, maybe it's better to just have them go to YouTube, put in a link to go to YouTube. Um, put in a link to go to your website that talks a little bit more about the video and that type of thing, rather than trying to force something to play in the email. Something to keep in mind, okay? so. I want to thank you all for watching the video. I hope this video has helped. I hope this has answered some of those questions that were popping up on how to add a, um, on the previous video I did for the landing page creator. And as always, thank you so much for supporting this channel. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you're really motivated, click the subscribe button. That would be fantastic. And for more about me, go to larrystow.me and I'll see you in the next video.